This is Patrick McCants from the JM Test Systems Rental Department, and today we will be running through a quick start and hit a couple of troubleshooting tips for the RKI GX2009 series gas monitor. The first thing you will want to do is to power on your GX2009 by pressing and briefly holding the power mode button. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves to demonstrate the glove-friendly buttons on the GX2009. At this point, you will see the LED lights light up and screen will turn on and the LCD screen will awaken. You can release the power button once you hear a beep from the monitor. While starting up, the instrument will go through a brief warm-up and will show you the date, number of days until next calibration, time of day, battery power, alarm latch setting, full-scale values for all channels, warning alarm setting and high alarm settings for all channels, Stell alarm set point for H2 and CO, and TWA alarm set point for H2 and CO channels. If your battery level is showing low or the battery icon is flashing, you will need to charge your instrument before using it. If you see Cal C limit on the display, that is indicative that the unit is past due for calibration. Press and release the power button to confirm and continue use. If you see fail C limit on the display, that is indicative that the unit is past due for calibration and will need a calibration before it is operable. Find a fresh air environment that is free of toxic or normal gas and a normal amount of oxygen. 20.9% is the normal amount of oxygen in ambient air. Secondly, press and hold the air button for about three seconds. The display will now indicate air, cal, hold, air. Continue to hold until adjust and release are displayed. Release the air button and now everything should read 0% except for oxygen, which will say 20.9%. Performing a breath test. You can perform a breath test on the GX2009 and quickly test the oxygen sensor, audible, visible, and vibratory alarms for proper operation. Performing a breath test is not a suitable calibration or a suitable bump test replacement. Cup your hands over the O2 sensor and exhale into the sensor. Your oxygen level should drop below the alarm value of 19.5% and activate the proper alarms. If the alarms are set to latching, Press the power mode button to reset the alarms once the O2 levels are over 19.5%. Press and release the power mode button to access your peak readings. This will display the highest LEL, CO, and H2S as well as the lowest O2 readings encountered while the instrument was in use. To reset the peak readings, press and hold the air button until clear and release is displayed. Press the power mode button again to move to the stealth screen. STEL is a 15-minute average exposure for CO and H2S. Press power mode again to move to the TWA screen. The TWA is an 8-hour average exposure for CO and H2S. Press the power mode button again to display the full-scale readings of each channel. Pressing the power mode button again will get you back to the normal measuring screen. Turning off the GX2009. Lastly, press and hold the power mode button Turn off will be displayed and the instrument will beep three times before shutting down. I hope this video has helped you with your RKI GX2009 operations. Please give JM Test Systems a call if you would like to rent or purchase RKI instruments. We can also have your gas monitor serviced and calibrated if needed. Be sure to check back for our next video in our RKI gas detector series, which will cover bump testing.